right, so overall, slightly better than last week. Um, yeah, slight up and down, but uh, generally going on the downswing. Oh, that day, uh, what was that with so much toast? Right, yeah, that day I weighed myself after eating, so I was just giving myself some abuse there on the calendar. Uh, so my last weight I recorded was on yesterday at 86.8. I completely forgot to record this morning until after I'd had lunch, so that kind of sucked. But, um, yeah, generally pretty good. I wouldn't... Well, I'm fairly sure I've definitely put on some weight today. Because, you know, just why it yesterday, but there's no way of finding out. So I'll see how poorly I've done tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so that's the weight. So generally going in a good direction, but uh, I still need to work on it a bit. I uh, must admit I've not been perfect with my food this week. I've been calorie counting a lot of the time, but I've still been going a bit over and maybe indulging my snacks a bit too much. I have still been struggling here and there with binges. I think you know, there's been a couple of times where I have kind of felt kind of sick from like when I've just been kind of taken over. So I need to rein that in a bit more, maybe get a bit more support. But I'm getting there. Things are things are improving either way. We still feel like I'm a bit of a transition period because of work. Because uh, I'm still trying to work out the whole uh, fitness commute thing. I try to get my exercise done the morning where possible, but it's not always possible. Speaking of that, let's uh, jump straight into the exercise because I don't want to keep you hanging around too long. So Monday, uh, as usual, was my weights day. I did the weights in the morning. I cycled to work and back, so that was the 40 minutes. Did my rehab, did 15,000 steps. Pretty standard day. Tuesday, I ended up doing all the body weight stuff later on uh, after I got back from work because honestly, my body weight exercises, I personally find them the most exhausting thing to do. I don't know, it's because you're using your whole body for most of them and I also just find they take the longest because I, I seem to need the longest breather in between and you know there's what there's like six different exercises to do sort of on each little cycle bit bike ride the work and back so you know two lots of 40 minute cardio 15,000 step and that was pretty cool Tuesday is usually the day I do my jog so I didn't get that done this time I just wasn't you know up early enough I guess I ended up doing my jog on Wednesday instead I ended up doing 10 kilometers because I felt so guilty about the amount of food I ate that day and you know it was kind of like an endurance thing and because I hadn't done my hit that day as well I kind of took the rest of the day as a rest besides the cardio so I thought I'd do a good uh, 10k jog that day. Thursday which would usually be my rest day I did the hit exercises then and did the cycle and 15,000 steps. Now Friday, my jogging schedule was a bit mixed up and uh, I usually, you know, do my jogging on Thursday, but then this time I've decided to do my jogging on Friday this time. Did actually manage to get up early, get the train into work. That was pretty cool. So I jogged back, so I did the eight kilometers jog back, did about 20,000 steps. And I did my weights after work. So after this jog, honestly, it wasn't that bad. I mean, if nothing else, jogging for over an hour warms you up pretty well. Just did a bit of stretching, then did my weights, and wasn't too bad at all. Yesterday, which was Saturday, uh, great, got another really blurry picture here. I should probably check these before I start recording. Did the usual body weight stuff. I made sure to do them early, though, because Saturday is quite notorious for me, kind of fucking up my exercise a bit. What I'll do is, because it's my day off, I'll get up feeling kind of sleepy, and I'll just keep putting off the exercise until it gets really late, until I'm either kind of rushing it when I'm already exhausted at night, or I just don't do them at all. I was meeting with Cambrian in town well that day, which is, you know, I did that, but I made sure I did all my other exercise in the morning before meeting him, so I managed to stick with that at least. And then uh, the only other thing I did uh, later that day when I got back was, um, you know, finished off my steps which I did 15,000 that day again, and used the exercise bike to do 20 minutes of cardio, which, yeah, it's kind of weird because uh, until I started working back in the office again, I pretty much used the exercise bike nearly every day for cardio, but hey, it's good to have around. And then that leads us to today, where I just kind of did my hit exercises, did 20,000 steps, and I did a 20 minute jog just because, uh, you know, I need to do 20 minutes cardio, and I'm trying to jog three days a week, and because I did 10k on Wednesday, 8k on Friday. I like to do about maybe 20 kilometers in a week, and I only had a couple of do, so I did a much, much shorter jog this eve. Oh, I should point out actually, uh, some previous videos when I was doing them a few months back, 
I kind of demonstrated some of the stuff I do on my hit exercises uh, here. Now, those have changed slightly since then. I'm more or less doing the same things. But uh, that original lot of hit exercises I got from a men's health magazine. And the original ones actually used a medicine ball instead of a kettlebell. Now, for the past few years, I haven't had a medicine ball, so I kind of slightly altered and adapted the exercises to use a kettlebell instead. But now I do have a medicine ball, so I'm now doing them the way the magazine suggested, which was something like this in the corner here. So, you know, the this kind of squatty things. Um, mountain climbers, push-ups, and then sort of a swing with them. It's been kind of interesting because I think I've gotten just way too used to doing them with the kettlebells that even though the medicine ball I'm using is actually lighter than my kettlebell I was using, the exercise is harder. I don't know, it's just because I'm using like different muscles to sort of hold it like that instead of... I don't know, but it's, it is exhausting, and uh, which is good. And to be honest, I do really like the hit exercises because they are quite exhausting and they can be a bit strenuous, but they're also done in less than 20 minutes, so... I think that's my ideal one to do in the morning. Honestly, I'm thinking about maybe switching out some of the exercise days, like, permanently, uh, just for a time thing. Uh, for example, on Tuesdays, I do the bodyweight stuff, and as I kind of mentioned, that stuff takes the longest to do, so quite often, I don't get that done in the morning before I leave. And Tuesday is also a jogging day. Yeah, I'm jogging back from work and then I'm doing the bodyweight stuff. I am so drained. We'll see, we'll see. Not a whole lot else to say really, like I've been doing the cycling. Um, you know, it's good for exercises, it's good for uh, saving money. I'm really having to kind of watch the pennies, despite the fact there's gifts to buy. So, I mean, what are my options? Either I've got to like scrimp for a couple of weeks until my next pay or, you know, find another way of making quick cash. Yeah, I'm just going to try really hard and save. Yeah, not too much else. Um, I feel like I should really be putting a bit more in this video, but this is kind of a pretty straightforward one. What I did do the day, uh, just in case you are interested, I figured I might like introduce some of my recipes, is I had a meal which was very similar to what I made uh, on Halloween weekend, which was like a um, stuffed heart. A bit like a roast dinner in a way, but like with uh, heart meat instead. So went to the butchers, got like four really large, gristly, gory looking heart. I put some of them in the stew that I made, because I made like a big batch of stew that I have in the next uh, week or so. Put the remaining two on a day's dinner. If you're squeamish, uh, you might want to like log off now, because I'm just going to go like quickly over what I like prepared for us. So uh, here's that. You've got the mushrooms, spinach, herbs, uh, honey, uh, potatoes, parsnips, broccoli, gravy, oil, butter. That's mostly what I'd be using. Ideally, I'd be using like extra virgin olive oil, but I don't have that right now, so vegetable oil will do just fine. And here are the lamb hearts. And if uh, you think they look grisly like that, you should see them before they're prepared. Look like they were more or less ripped right out of an animal. Which, I guess they kind of were. I'm pretty sure the butchers might have just took them out of the carcass uh, as I got them yesterday because he went away for what seemed like a couple of minutes uh, when asked for their hearts and uh, came out from behind the uh, screen very bloodied. So, yeah, these are probably right from the source. So now there's just the hollow sort of chambers and cavities which are going to be stuffed by these. Right, so uh, the oven's been preheated. I've cut up the parsnips. Uh, it's in a mix of water, oil, and honey there, so these are going to be roasted. Right, I thought I should probably throw in a couple of onions as well. Like, chopped up the mushroom very thinly, mixed it up with the spinach and the herbs, a bit of salt as well, and a little touch of the, touch of the oil. Alright, this is how they look before frying. Just drop these in the onions, uh, put a bit of oil in there as well. I'm going to cover it with foil for a while while it's in the oven. Don't really like using foil, just for, you know, reasons. But, uh, yeah, we'll do it for this at the moment, at least part of the time cooking. Um, gonna put these in the oven for about 40 minutes, and then, um, sort of take them out, inspect them, and then put them in for, well, however long I think they need to go next. Uh, apart from that, uh, just gonna peel the potatoes, really, and then it's just gonna be waiting again for a while. No, no, waiting game sucks. Let's play Hungry Hungry Hippos. 
All right, so the honey roasted parsnips are done. The hearts are looking pretty good. They are gonna go in for another maybe 20 to 30 minutes though. This time leaving the foil off. And uh, yeah, peeled some potatoes, so I'm gonna start doing the mash while they're in. Oh, and it's, uh, it's not for this meal, but I've also uh, fried some liver chunks because uh, liver is actually really full of like vitamins and things, so I'm gonna be having like little portions of that uh, throughout the next. Here are the parsnips, and here is the heart and the onions. They do shrink a bit during the cooking process, um, but, uh, they are still pretty good, and those onions will be mm, very nice. Very oily though. I'm going to pour some of the excess oil into the gravy, I'm going to do it. Now gravy itself is actually not going to be terribly special, it's just going to be uh, the stuff I use, the marigold, which I like because it is, well, environmentally quite decent. And hey, look at that, 30 grams of this equals 100 calories. I write on a lot of my stuff, <laughs> the calorie content of 100 grams just so keep me on check when I'm like wanting food. The only thing I've got to do is got mashed potatoes. Potatoes are cooked, I just need to add some of the, the butter in the milk. Yeah, uh, very nice. Now I just gotta put it all together. Oh, yeah, it looks a little empty. Maybe I should have put something extra on, like maybe roasted some carrots or something, but um, nope, that looks pretty good to me. Time to eat. Probably could have been integrated a bit smoother, but I'll sure I'll work how to do these videos well at some point. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this week. So this is week ending. 14th of November and let's see what we do tomorrow.